Praise be to Jesus. Let us pray. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Hi everyone, Charles back with you on a Saturday morning. Well, there's a couple of more uh, updates from the Associated Press on what's happened today at the summit, so I'll read a little bit to you. Several dozen, dozen Catholics from Italy and abroad have marched through Rome to protest the Vatican's handling of pedophile priests. Place cards held by an abuse survivor and their supporters denounce Vatican silences, while other posters call for secular justice for all. Many advocates say the church must let civil authorities investigate and prosecute priests who molest or rape children. And, you know, Scripture's got to back that up. Um, I mean, that's for sure. I mean, I'm sure about that. So, um, you know, um, so we'll let the secular authorities do their work, you know, throughout the year here and see what they come up with. Um, so that's that update. And um, <coughs> boy, I still have some congestion. This has been going on for two months. This is a, a supernatural illness, I believe. It's been on. I've had it for so long. Um, let's see here. All right, and the only other update is this one at 5.15 p.m. A prominent Mexican journalist has told Catholic leaders at the Vatican Sex Abuse Prevention Summit that their failure to report abuse and inform the public about predator priests makes them complicit in the crimes. Yeah, for sure. Valentina um, Ala Zakra, Zachary, Zachary, Vatican correspondent for Mexico's Televista Network, urged greater transparency and communication about abuse in the final presentation Saturday at Pope Francis's Summit on Abuse. She told the bishops and religious superiors that journalists are not the enemy, but unless the church hierarchy starts siding with the victims and not the predators, journalists, quote, will be your worst enemies, unquote. And good for her. And, um, you know, I, I remember yesterday I posted something about uh, these two atheists. Um, uh, Pope Francis was talking with them, and um, they, um, I think she handed him a um, bogus list of people um, who um, were or had accused the Catholic Church in Poland of sex abuse. Um, but it said unconfirmed. Well, I mean, I, I think there was, um, they were trying to extort money from the Catholic Church, <laughs> really. I mean, there's some reasons for me to think that, but whatever. But anyway, the Pope said he, he would read it <laughs> to, to the whole assembly, and uh, apparently he hasn't done that. So <laughs> once he figured out what it was, you know, um, I guess he took a pass on that. Well, and rightfully so, you know. Um, uh, that, that that story there is really, really very strange. I'd like to see someone, some other media, dig into that a little bit more and see exactly what was, if there's anything, uh, you know, anything um, uh, there that, um, you know, I, I mean, maybe it was prearranged, you know. I mean, it, it could have been, there There might be a point to what uh, what was going on there, although, we all seem to have missed that, so um, so maybe it backfired or something, or maybe it was just some innocent sort of thing uh, that he got caught up in. I mean, I, there's no way to tell. Uh, all right, well, 
Uh, that's about it. And uh, I mean, I think tomorrow there's mass. Uh, I don't know if there's anything scheduled, um, you know, in the morning or afternoon or anything. Um, you know, it's supposed to be a four-day summit, so uh, it started Thursday. So that, you know, so it continues tomorrow. But <clears throat> being the last day, I'm not sure exactly what's going on. All right. Well, we'll see tomorrow then. Uh, all right. So that's it for about now. And um, we'll talk to you later or next time. All right, bye.